Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I'm a content creator for Rush Real, and I will be guiding you and explaining you uh, how BART as a unit works. I will be giving you a few tips here and there just to help you out learning the unit. So stay tuned. So first of all, let's talk basics. It is a damage type of unit from Kingdom of Light and it has very high damage outputs plus very good attack speed source from the base stats. Additionally, it has armor destruction builded in itself and his attacks ricochets to several monsters which helps very well with clearing monsters. Next, let's talk about mana power up ability. Instead of classic mana power up, this unit has two modes toggled by using the mana power up button. The mode is of course shared with all bars on the board. In attack mode, bars attack the first target. The projectile then ricochets to a different random monster several times. In the music modes, however, bards are spending mana to accumulate inspiration, increasing the inspiration level and do not attack. The bard's damage increases in proportion to the inspiration level gathered during the battle. When the amount of mana falls to 100% of the summoning cost, the process of accumulating inspiration slows heavily down. Now let's talk about the talents. Level 9 left side talent allows you to get 4 accordionists on your board by getting enough stacks of inspiration. Damage of them is also increased with each merge rank on the board. Level 9 right side talent uh, makes parts at the edges of board into drummers. They gain inspiration only from monsters near them in both music and attack mode. In attack mode they don't spend mana but inspiration gathering is heavily reduced. In music mode it is heavily accelerated but consumes mana. Drummers also reduce armor of the monster accordingly to the sum of their merge ranks. Level 11 talent, uh, left side, with receiving inspiration levels, your bars have a chance to cleanse any negative effect on them. However, right side talent are collecting 3 times more inspiration if a boss is on the field, and 2 times more if it's a mini boss. Level 13 left side talent grants attack speed boost for your bards after leaving music mode. Level 13 right talent grants attack damage boost after getting enough stacks of inspiration. Level 15 talent when enough stacks of inspiration are gathered, Bart will have a small chance to create a chaotic clump of note uh, that will deal damage in an area. The damage is guaranteed always to be critical. Now let's talk about how do you play Bart and with what units. There is two currently good decks uh, for Bart, one is more free to play friendly and one requires a legendary hero which is quite a bit expensive. Uh, however, let's talk about the friendly one first which is a Bart with Knight Statue, Harlequin, uh, Trapper and Witch with Mermaid as a hero. Uh, the strategy is pretty simple, uh, you set up two of your Knight Statues on the board uh, you play, um, let me show you the talents, Covenant of Veterans, Barrier and Stone Legion and that will allow you to build up your stacks of Knight Statue by merging in between them. Uh, Harlequin talents, uh, left, left and right. Uh, this will allow you to have the best damage output and mana uh, source from Harlequin and thanks to level 15 talent you will be able to basically copy any unit uh, below Harlequin's merge rock. Uh, about the talents for Bart, I would go Accordionist, Rapture and Aria of Power. Rapture just because I don't need a cleanse when I'm running Mermaid, uh, so I will be getting more Inspiration stacks which is heavily heavily uh, recommended uh, while playing Bart. Aria of Power, I'm very uh, good with this talent, um, most of the people play this, you can play both talents, um, they are very very similar, very uh, very good both of them, so you can choose then. Uh, about Trapper, 
suddenly no talents yet, about which uh, I would go all right side talent, uh, especially level 9 right side talent, uh, it will boost your bard's damage uh, heavily. Uh, level, level 11 right side talent will help you with insta killing some of the regular monsters and level 13 right side talent will help, help you maybe uh, defeat your enemy quicker. Um, about the equipment, I would go for spear, uh, any armor uh, that you have uh, maxed, uh, preferably it's a hunter's jacket or chainmail, uh, but if you have uh, mage robes or uh, knight's armor, it is good as well. Uh, about uh, amulet, I would go for amulet of swiftness or amulet of growth as well. Um, so let's now jump into the more expensive build uh, deck with Zeus as a legendary hero. Equipment is pretty much the same. So we will skip that. About the talents, uh, here I would go for the cleanse, of course, because Zeus doesn't have cleanse in itself. Uh, so the bard needs that. So left, left, right. You can play also left, left, left. It is good as well. Like I said, Chopper again. Harlequin, pretty much the same, which the same talents uh, as previous. And here you play Swords instead of Knight Statue uh, because you get that attack speed bonus from Zeus. Uh, so, Swords will boost your damage, I would play all right, just because you need that sword stacks ASAP. And here are some tips from me uh, for you to play Bard even better. Tips number one, uh, it is focus more on getting a lot of inspiration stacks by juggling between music mode and attack mode whenever you can. The more inspiration you get uh, later in the game, it is going to be much better for you to control the wave and kill faster bosses. Uh, tip number two, try to set up your bards next to knight statue and witches so that it doesn't take a lot of space on your board. Tip number three, always search for double tiles if you are playing such hero such as Zeus or Jay and double tile means amulet lose hero tile in some variations. Uh, it will boost your maximum damage heavily so I would highly recommend that. And that's it from me, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully it will help you play Bard much better and see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.